Hello and welcome to our last video, finally our last video of the flow measurement. Yeah? We're talking about Coriolis flow measurement. We do have a tube, again a tube of course, yeah? we do have a tube. This time a little bit more elastic tube. Yeah. There is streaming something inside. Or not. And this we want to measure. We want to measure how much. Yeah. If this is in standstill and it just let's swing this tube, yeah, then it will swing in this direction. And then in the other direction. And it will always be the same. Okay. The swinging is 90 degree, 90 degree to the flow direction. Okay. And as soon as there is mass running through this tube, yeah, I'm producing Coriolis forces here. Yeah. This means the swinging will not look that way, but I have an overlapping overlapping snake-like behavior. Yeah. And then on the other hand it will look like this. So this will not only swing, this will swing, okay? And this phase shift of the swing and this thing, this, if I get it, how, how I can measure this, how I can distinguish this, then I can measure the flow. Yeah? I can measure even the mass flow. I ask my assistants, well, it's Heinz, yeah, to start with the experiment, please let's switch, let's switch to the to the backyard. Yeah, Heinz. Hello, hello. Okay. Okay, yeah, start. Okay. So, Heinz is now starting. See the ones in the middle. That's just a tube, yeah, and he let it swing. Here we see the tube swinging. Uh, great, isn't it? Wonderful. <laughs> I know. So Heinz, was this with or without water? Ohne Wasser. Ohne. Ah, without. Without. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let's start the water. Let's start the water, please. Wassermarsch. Okay, let's get rid of this, of this wobbling. See that weak? Yeah. And now start again, do the same thing, and it's swinging. Is it wobbling? Is it not wobbling? I wonder. Yeah, we did not really see if this is working or not. I will try some fixes uh, on the computer with some slow motion and overlapping and we'll see if this is working better then. Okay, maybe you have to do it again. Okay, so start. Yeah, we see it swings different. The, the, uh, thicker line, the thicker line, is the one with the Coriolis forces applied. You see there is some snake, I can see it very, very little, yeah, there is some snake-like behavior compared to the thin, ghosty line. This is, this is the plain thing, okay? Yeah.
Ja, okay, eins. Let's call it. Let's call it. You made it. Yeah. We could not see it very perfect, but at least we could get a hint that even with such with such easy approach, it is possible to show this effect. Yeah. Tschüss. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Heinz. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye to you also. We saw it's very hard to see. <laughs> Let's have a look. There is a video again. I will again apply it on the top right corner. Yeah. There is an animation about this. You can watch it. It's explained very good. Yeah. So this is Coriolis flow measurement. Anyway, that's it. That's it for flow measurement. That's everything for flow measurement you're going to hear from me, at least. So, next time we're talking about pressure measurement. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.